So to fold this, you need to that. See all the bubbles in here? That's flavor. That's your alcohol and carbon dioxide gas. Question number two on your final exam. All right, you're gonna use your bench scraper. I have to go again. If you're sticking to the bench, you want to be nice to your dough, so help it out. Use your bench scraper and just kind of loosen it from underneath. Okay. Okay. So you're degassed, and now we're gonna fold it. So you're gonna pull the right, bring it to the center. Pull the left, bring it to the center. Bottom to the middle, top to the middle. Pick it up with your palms, flip it. That's it, that's folding. Now what's so important about doing this? Super important. Um, basically inside here, we talked about your yeast, right? What are the two things that keep your yeast happy? Food and heat. Did you say heat or food? I heard food, I said heat. but you said heat. <laughs> All right, so warmth and food. So let's pretend that these, this is a yeast molecule, okay? So you've got a thousand of these running all throughout your dough. But yeast cannot move on its own. It's just one singular molecule hanging out in your dough. So it's feeding on the food that's immediately access, like accessible to it, immediately surrounding it. So as the yeast is feeding, it's feeding on everything that it can reach. There's other food available in the other parts of the dough, but it can't get to it, right? So you, as the baker, need to redistribute all of the food particles that are all throughout the dough to your yeast. So that's what the folding is doing. It's redistributing all the food to the yeast. Now what's so important about that? Once your yeast runs out of food, it dies, okay? So um, basically what we call that is over-fermentation. So when your yeast runs out of food, it's now um, overproduced carbon dioxide gas and alcohol. And if you let your yeast run out of food, your uh, dough is gonna collapse. So all those gases that are in there start to go away and your flavor is almost overproduced. Um, the way I like to describe it is it's like licking the floor of a frat party the day after. Oh. Um, all that stale beer that's on the floor, you know? Not that I've ever done that, but I would imagine if that's what you did, you know, that's what it would be. Um, so number one is you wanna redistribute the food to the yeast so that it can keep feeding. Therefore, it's creating more flavor. And you also wanna get rid of all the extra gases. So all of that buildup of those gases, you wanna kind of get rid of them so that they can keep rebuilding. All those, all the flavor is still in here, but you just didn't need the, the inflation of it, okay? So that's why we fold. All right, so we're nice and degassed and folded. Now I'm gonna cover up a portion of this so that the back end doesn't dry out. Please beware, don't put the marker directly on. Pay attention to what side is up on your plastic wrap. I'm gonna use my bench scraper and I'm gonna cut a portion of this off. So now we're on to dividing, step number five, okay? Um, this is a little bit of a blade here. So um, this is gonna take a little bit of muscle there's no um, serrated blade, so I always find a lot of people kind of like doing this. Mm. That's not gonna do anything. There's no teeth on this. It's not gonna cut like a, you know, like a loaf. You need to use the back end of it and do like a firm cut straight down to the bench, okay? So straight down, straight down, straight down, straight down. Cut a piece off, cover up the rest. This is gonna continue fermenting, so is this. So if you're taking a little bit of a long time to do this, this is gonna, again, inflate and you need to keep folding it, okay? So if you see like, hey, this is getting a little bit big, you know, let me ask Chef, I think maybe I should give this another fold, um, especially because it's gonna start getting warm in here once you guys start working, okay? 